Some people might have the opinion that laser engraving jars might just take too much time. That could very well be the case, and that's what I want to find out today. So here are my candles, and you can see that I have four scents here, and they're pretty colorful. The plan is to laser engrave the design on the side of this glass jar. These are eight ounce glass straight-sided jars that I got from Uline. They're pretty sturdy, but I figured with the colored wax in the glass, it's gonna look really pretty, but I don't know. I have done a ton of research on how to do this. There is very little information online on how to laser engrave these glass jars using the Xtool F1, but luckily I was able to find a video which I will link down below and I will be following her steps on getting glass jars laser engraved. So let's go ahead and do that. So to laser engrave glass, you're going to need a few things. You need some washable acrylic paint and something to paint with. <laughs> I got this Crayola washable tempera paint. It's supposed to be an acrylic paint, is it? It says tempera. We'll see if this works, but I got this from Amazon. Same with this little mini roller set, which is super cute. Hello, editing Jerica here. I just wanted to quickly clarify that the information and steps I'm giving here is specifically about laser engraving glass using the Xtool F1, which has a blue diode laser. You can certainly laser engrave glass using other types of lasers without the steps you'll see in this video. I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. And the reason why we have paint is because glass is see-through and a laser requires color in order to reflect off of so that it could etch into the material. And that's the reason why it's really hard to laser engrave white things and pretty much impossible to laser engrave clear things like glass. So that's why we are gonna be painting the glass so that the laser can reflect off of that paint and etch the glass. So here is an extra step already that uh, might turn you off from doing this right off the bat. <laughs> when I found out this is something you would have to do, it was a little discouraging, but I don't know, I haven't painted in a while. And here it could be relaxing. Let me set some napkins down, this could get messy. This is cute, it comes with like a few disposable paint trays. I will link this down below, and it comes also with a green paint tray. But, oh, things are rolling away. Let's add the paint to, whoa, my tray. That's a lot of paint. I pro oh my gosh, I probably won't be using that much. <laughs> wow, arts and crafts on this channel, for real. So I'm gonna slide one of these foam rollers onto my little roller guy. I'm going to take a little bit of that paint, roll it off, because I don't need that much, I don't think. Now I'm going to paint onto the surface. Oh my gosh. And we're just gonna cover the surface with the paint. Maybe I should have gotten a brush. I feel like the roller, the foam roller is picking up a lot of the paint and absorbing it. So a brush probably would have been better, but we'll see. This is all an experiment. Let me get another coat on there. So we're probably gonna have to wait until this paint dries. So there's another step you're gonna have to do. Let's wait until this paint dries before we can laser engrave it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and paint a layer on each glass. I know that the world of laser engraving things has been around for a long time, but I really don't think a lot of soap makers and bath and body skincare owners know all the things you can do with it. It's really what you make of it because everything has a learning curve and just learning how to use a machine like this takes time. And that's time that a lot of small business owners don't have. Like taking the time to paint all of these jars is time I really don't have. <laughs> so if you're going to be buying a laser engraver, put that into your consideration as well, not just the cost of the thing, but the time cost put into it. It's starting to dry. And I'm, I'm worried it's not gonna dry thick enough. I'm starting to question my choice of a white cardigan for today's activity. 
probably should not have worn white today or anything that has long flowy sleeves. I'm trying to spread the paint pretty wide because I'd rather have a wider surface area painted than I need than to accidentally laser engrave over a non-painted area. Okay, I think we're getting, yep, it's starting to dry. By the time I'm done painting all of these jars, then I should be ready to laser engrave or attempt to laser engrave the first jar. Yes, this is time consuming, <laughs> but I wonder if you had a team or staff with you, you can just appoint this duty to one person. But if you like painting things, find it calming like I do, then this will be a fun addition to your process. <laughs> I find that whenever I introduce a new thing on this channel, a lot of people are raised the question of, oh, that takes too much time, which you know, you are absolutely right. It does take time. But then there are people who have businesses built around, entirely around laser engraved things. They do wood cutting, they do engraving. That's what they specialize in. And I wonder if they think that they are taking too much time with each piece that they work on. And not everything that they make is super expensive either. I think everyone's time and how they spend it is so subjective and what some people might find as a waste of their time, other people might not. It's good to explore options down to the last candle. This is our Cascadia candle. Isn't it a pretty green? And definitely the more I do this, the faster I'll paint. <laughs> Each task when I'm brand new to it always takes me so long. But the fact that this paint is washable means that all of the rollers that I use, I can reuse. Same with all of these plastic trays I can reuse. Got my final painted glass jar. And then here is one of the jars that's almost ready to be laser engraved. So I'll come back to you guys once we are at that step. So we have our dry painted jars. Now what we're gonna do is load it up on the machine. So for round objects, the X tool sells the rotary attachment tool and it also comes with a piece that goes inside of a round object that rotates the object so that you can engrave the entire circumference of that object. I'm only wanting to engrave just the front for now. So I'm gonna be using just this part as a resting place that will hold my candle in place as the X-Tool F1 engraves it. We're gonna set it up like this and we're going to put it inside of our X-Tool. So I'm going to place my candle inside here. I'm going to bring those points together like so. Points are now together. Now for the design of this candle label, I quickly made this up in Canva. And what I like about Canva Pro is that you can create SVG files, which the X tool will take and use as a way to engrave, laser engrave that design onto my candle. So here are my settings. Blue light powers at 100%. We have 80 speed and one pass through 180 lines per centimeter. Now all I have to do is bring down the covering and you can see that there is still some space here and I really wanna protect my eyes so I'm gonna use these glasses to protect my eyes from the laser. I ordered these from Amazon. It actually came without the strap which is upsetting. I'm already getting a new one being shipped but in the meantime I can just hold them up to my face and it helps protect my eyes from the blue light. I look really futuristic or I'm about to go snowboarding. So before I start the machine, I'm going to click framing just to see where that design is going to fall. And you can see that it's really off. It's not in the center. I'm going to bring the design down a little bit and that should fall right in the middle, right there. I'm really nervous for some reason. Okay, let's go and start. I'm going to bring this down and press the button. Okay, it's done lasering, and that job took a minute and 35 seconds, which is pretty fast. So let's lift this up and see how this looks. 
Okay, that looks pretty neat. I think that did the trick. So this looks like it did a good job laser engraving the design through the paint, but whether or not this design actually looks good once the paint has washed off is another story. So let's go ahead and wash this off. Okay, I'm back and the good news is that paint washes off super well. And here is how that engraving turned out. It is super faint. It's definitely more like a ghost image, but it definitely shows up. I wonder if it will show better on this other camera. Yes, it does. So you can see that the engraving worked. The glass is etched. The black paint got into the sides there, so that's a little bit marked. But everything else looks pretty good. You can see that it says high tide on there. You can see the graphic, how much soy wax is in there, how long it burns, and the scent notes. So this, I chose a really tiny script. I probably will change that up to something that's more legible, but you can definitely see it, although it's pretty difficult to read. I would probably change that up. I have quench bear in the top there. I'll probably make that bigger. But overall, this looks really good for a first try. So let's make some tweaks so that it's easier to read. But look how cool that looks. I really do like that. That looks awesome. Wow. Okay, so this is attempt number two. I've made some tweaks to my design in Canva. So I made this bolder and bigger, bolder. These actually showed up okay, so I left that alone along with the graphic, but I made this a different font and bolder and more compact. So hopefully that will show up better. And I also made high tide more compressed because I suspect that because it's round, the edges of what it says here just didn't laser as well. So I'm trying to keep things tighter. Now, if you had the rotary tool attached and it spun along with the design, then you could probably get that crisper, but we're not doing that today. We are taking baby steps with our X tool. So let's see if this design will be better or look better. Okay. So here are the results. This looks great. So here's what it looks like with the paint. And I'll come back once it's all washed off. And here are the round two results. And let's just compare this to the first go around. So you can see where I've made my company name just a little bit bigger and spaced out. So that definitely stands out more. And that also stands out more. I also picked a different font for the scent name. It was more compact and thicker. And I think that looks great. Although I don't know what happened with the engraving here. Maybe the paint wasn't thick enough there. And that's something to think about. You want to make your paint layer pretty opaque so that the laser is able to etch that glass. I definitely see an improvement in the scent profiles. That definitely stands out a lot more and it's definitely legible. And I think this looks fantastic. I'm really, really impressed with how this looks. And I am pretty sure with a few more tweaks, we can get this pretty perfect. And I don't know if I'll ever need another candle label again. This looks incredible. I think it looks really impressive. And of course, I also laser engraved the lids with my logo. That looks amazing. Wow. I'm also pretty impressed with how quickly it engraved this jar. It only took about a minute, 30 seconds, which is pretty fast and doesn't really add that much time to the process. And I think the results make it so worth it. So let me play around with a few more settings, do a few more jars, and I'll come back with the final results and my conclusions. Hey everyone, I am now back. I have laser engraved all of the jars and here are all of the results in all of the different colors. Here is my Western sunset candle on the orange wax. And I think that looks really good. I did have to tweak settings a bunch to finally get what I think is a good engraving. It's very faint, but you could definitely see and read 
the letters and I think it looks really beautiful and high end. Over here is the Cascadia candle. One thing that I would do differently is probably laser engrave these jars without any wax in them because you can see that the laser actually heated the wax behind the design and caused a little bit of melting and there's like the littlest bit of a hole there which you could fix using a heat gun just point the heat gun to that spot and it should smooth it out but that's one thing i would do differently is to just pre-etch the jars here is the high tide candle and you can see the darker the wax i think the better the engraving looks so if you're going to be doing this to your candle jars then consider using really dark colors because it'll really make that engraving pop. And then I left the best for last. The wild blackberry jars look awesome. And you can see that the engraving really pops against that pinky red wax. And I think the result of this looks fantastic. And it was really, really quick. Each jar took under two minutes to engrave. Now that doesn't include the time it took to paint all of the jars with the paint. And it also did include all of the time that it took to wash off that paint, although it did wash off really fast. I wasn't scrubbing at the jars at all. It was literally wiping the glass with a soft cloth to get that paint off and it came off right away. Of course, there's also the cost of the machine itself. That is not a cheap machine, but if you love having complete control over the customization, if you love to learn, if you don't mind a learning curve, if you want the freedom to create things and have instant results because you're doing it in-house, then I think that it is worth it. Because for me, I love the results of these jars. And I know if you were to outsource this kind of customization, it wouldn't be cheap. And candle jars are so expensive already. So that does save costs a little bit. And you also save costs on the labels that you would be putting on, although you are spending money on the paint, but most washable paint is really, really inexpensive and should last you a long time. Another tip that I would recommend is to do a nice, even coat of paint. I think I'm gonna purchase an actual paintbrush rather than this foam roller because I don't think it gave a very even surface. It was kind of like a spotty surface. And these particular rollers were pretty cheap. And I think, a uh, brush with fibers would do a better job of coating the glass evenly and that would give me a better etching and i did do these wild blackberry jars last so it's no coincidence that they ended up with the best results it's not a hundred percent perfect there are a few places where the the etching has come off just a little bit but i don't personally mind that i think that the look is still really, really nice and high-end. Overall, a super fun project, and I absolutely love the look of these candles. But that is the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I know that this is different, but I did want to show you guys the possibilities when it comes to laser engraving glass, when it comes to the X-Tool F1. Know that it is possible and that the results are pretty good. I'm doing this for the first time, so it'll only get better with time, and I can't wait to continue experimenting with the X-Tool F1 with glass, and also with using the actual rotary function that turns the product, or sorry, turns the jar so that it actually laser engraves the entire circumference of the jar. That'll be a fun project, so keep an eye out for that. And if you're curious about the X-Tool itself, I have a link to that down below. So go ahead and check it out if you are curious about what this machine actually is, how much it costs and all of that, that is linked down below. And before I go, I wanted to give a quick thank you to my patrons, each and every one of you guys who choose to support me on Patreon. I am so, so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. And if you are curious about the recipes, I even have some candle recipes. I have those on my Patreon with all of the steps with printable PDFs all ready to go. So that is also linked down below. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome. And I will see you in that next video. Bye guys.